Hey there, folks. you watching the Main Man Channel. It's not just the name, it's the way of life. you got to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day to make it in this cruel old world. So, that being said, topic of today's video is, I've got some packages in this week. And, you know, instead of doing a bunch of little unboxings for these three packages, I figured that I would uh, just do one big I've already opened them up and looked at them but I'll just do one big uh, video and show you what what I got and uh, of course there'll be a video separate for dedicated to each one of them maybe a couple depending on uh, what's in the packages and uh, just want to show you I got some neat stuff and it's kind of centered around my Remington R1 and my Remington RP9 so we're gonna check that out let me put a little bit down here. Say hi a little bit. Say hi to everybody a little bit. All right, let's put a little bit down and grab that package. Boom, boom. Okay. Now, of course, they didn't all come in this box. They were separate packages. But the first one was a holster, my inside the waistband holster. I've also got a paddle holster ordered from Alien Gear for the Remington RP9. This is supposed to be for the Remington RP9. And uh, I can put links to all this in the description if you're interested. Don't know what brand it is. It, it says on the package, though, uh, Detroit Cadex. So, I guess Detroit Cadex is the manufacturer. But it looks kind of small. To be a Remington RP9 holster, and so I haven't tried it yet. So I've got the Remington RP9 out. It's clear. Nothing in there. All right, we're gonna let it go forward, and we're gonna actually see if it fits in that holster. Well, it locked up good, and uh, it covered the trigger good. Let's see what the draw's like. Oh, what's in there? What's really in there? I mean, it's really in there. That might not be good. I mean, it really went in there. Okay, I actually had to pry on <laughs> that just a little bit. I don't think there's any way to tighten the retention up on this. I think it's just got to break in. So... That's better. Okay. Starting to get a little bit better now. Yep. Yep, it's a little better now. At first, that thing was not coming out of there. Okay, so I noticed if you grab the actual belt clip area, it comes right out. But if you're just trying to pull or tug anywhere else, it's secure. It ain't going nowhere. You actually got to put the pressure on the belt clip for it to come out. So that's pretty good. And like I say, it covers up the trigger pretty well. That's pretty cool. All right. Now that's not all we got in here. That's not all we got in this week, today. All right, I got this package. And it's packed really well. They got it in a bubble mailer. Plus they got it wrapped in bubble wrap. And they got the uh, invoice wrapped around it. And this come away, this come from Galloway Precision. And what this is, is, I ordered it off Amazon, but it did come from Galloway Precision. And these were $10.50. These are the Remington RP9 Traction Grip Overlay in gray for Remington RP9 pistols. And like I say, they had it wrapped in bubble wrap, and they had it all wrapped up in that invoice. So, there wasn't nothing going to happen to that. So, the packaging on that was spot on awesome. Okay, but I got the gray. Here's what it looks like. Now, I'm not going to attempt to put it on in this video. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Something like this is pretty crafty. And I wouldn't attempt it at all by myself. So, I'm going to have a helper help me put it on. <laughs> And then I'll show you the results in another video, and we'll shoot the gun in another video. But there's what it looks like. It's got the instructions on it. 
called Traction Grips, Grip Products for Firearms, Fish Remington RP9, RP45, www.tractiongrips.com. Proudly made in the USA. That's always good. So let's pull these out and see what it looks like. We'll go ahead and might just leave her directions in the bag because I seem to be wanting to not come out very well. All right, here's the grips. And uh, feels pretty good. Uh, not too rough, but it feels like you could really get some traction on it, especially if your hands were wet and everything. And not that I don't like the, uh, remember, pull it by the belt clip. <laughs> I have to actually see what brand holster that was. We'll do a video on the holster drawn from that holster, seeing how good it conceals, seeing how it works. But we're talking about the grips right now. But it kind of feels similar to the gripping that they've already got on the gun, but it's a little bit different. It's got a little bit of a rubber soft texture to it too. And it goes right there. And like I say, I'm probably going to have the girlfriend. This is something crafty. Help me do this the first time, and uh, then I'll show you the results later. And of course, we'll be doing a video dedicated to it or dedicated to the results. But it says to clean all areas where grips will be applied with hot water and drop of dish detergent. So I'd say Dawn would be best. Dry thoroughly with a hairdryer or heat gun. 91% alcohol may also be used to clean the firearm. So Basically, clean it with good soap and water, and then clean it with alcohol. Make sure you get all the oils from your hands and all the gun oil off of it and all the grease and stuff. Avoid touching the adhesive backing on the grip while installing. The traction grips panel wraps from the front of the grip and covers the front and both sides. Once installed, use a hairdryer to heat and form the panel to the front of the grip. The traction grips panel may feel slippery until heat is applied to fit the panel to the pistol grip. Be sure to mold the raised front edge of the thumb shelf areas to the pistol using a hairdryer and pressure. Use caution when cleaning your weapon as excess solvents may dissolve adhesive backing. If grips need to be removed, they will peel off easily without a mess. Please share your photos on social media using hashtag traction grips. Well, we'll be doing that. Cool. And they're on Facebook. And they got an email address. Okay, cool. So I'll show you all that. Y'all will pause it and look at it if you want. But yeah. I think these are going to be cool. And I think that gray... You can check these out on Amazon. I think that gray is really going to make that gun pop. That gray out of the black. And I think I'm going to do some color fill work to it eventually. When I find my white nail polish. Because I think white's really what's going to be able to pop with that Remington logo. And that RP9 logo. We'll see. Anyways. So that's there. And also... The box was the, actually the third package. Now, I have no clue why Optics Planet sent it to me like this. The only thing I can figure out is because they must have been roll, running real low on the small Optics Planet boxes. Uh, but they sent me a... I ordered an RP9 magazine from them. Now, this is what you call a communist magazine okay the reason you call this a communist magazine it's only a 10 rounder okay so i was a little bit curious to see how the 10 rounder was running the gun but i wasn't looking for 10 rounders i was looking for the standard capacity 18 rounders or something bigger if i could find them but uh at the time i looked for the magazine online this was the only magazine I can find in stock anywhere and I even had a wait on it uh, there was a delay I think where they run out of them and then they sent it 
So I've been waiting on this bad boy for a while. But anyways, they sent it to me. And uh, we're going to be trying out, see how it feeds, see how it functions. Now, I was kind of in panic mode when I was thinking about it. I was like, man, two 18-round magazines and one 10-round magazine, is that going to be enough to take that class with it? And the name of the class I'm taking is Defensive Shooting. Well, I'll tell you when I got my book in here. I'll show you the textbook. But anyway, uh, that'll be in another video. I said, is that going to be enough? Finally, Gun Mag Warehouse got some in stock. And I bought three. I believe it was 18-rounders. So that's going to give me a total of five 18-rounders plus a little 10-rounder. So... I think that's going to be plenty enough magazines to take that class with in case something happens to one or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. You know, that that gun's just neat to me, the RP-9. I just, I like it, guys. You know. And I'm not, am I recommending this for a home defense weapon? No. I'm only, repping it, I'm only recommending it for a good, accurate range tools right now. And we're going to see how good it is. Because y'all know that break-in period was rough on it. So I'm, I'm continuing. I've not cleaned it. I mean, I wipe it down. But I have not cleaned it since we got it running. And I'm wanting it to get dirty and uh, see how it does before that class. And I'm going to keep continuing to compare it to all my other pistols. All my other semi-automatic pistols. Every one of them. For accuracy and I guess reliability and I guess it's to practice with it and like I say I'm not recommending this for a, a home defense weapon or a carry weapon I am recommending it, recommending it for a range weapon but I might end up carrying this if it keeps running well and keeps doing well so not all the time but some this might be a uh a, yeah um, I get home bag or a bug out bag gun. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Right now, it's just a good, fun range toy. And, of course, I'm taking my Glock 19 as a backup in case this thing fouls out during the class. So, we got that, and that's what it is. And I do need to make sure I've got some unopened boxes of ammo because they want you to take about four, 350, 400 rounds of ammo. I'd say I'll take five just to be safe. But anyways, I think I got some, uh, I think I got a couple cases of MagTech still left if I can think about it. Yeah, so I'm going to have to find them. They're either at the, uh, my storage location or they're uh, here at the house somewhere. But we'll see. All right, that being said, the last thing that was in this optics planning package, the big box, was, and strictly plinking, him and a couple other guys mentioned this, and uh, but especially him, I believe he was first. Why not yet? A Wilson Combat 10 round magazine. See how she runs in the uh, Remington R1. We'll try her out in the Taurus too. But it is the Wilson Combat 10 round magazine, 1911 magazine, 45 ACP. And uh, we're going to see how she runs in her Remington R1 and eventually her Taurus PT-1911. But, yep, that these packages that came in today, they're going to make a, you know, that gives me one, two, three, four, four maybe four to a half a dozen good videos. And uh, I bought all this. I purchased all this myself. From Optus Planet or Amazon. And uh, it is what it is. And uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm really excited about this gun and how it runs and how accurate I am with Remington RP9. And guys, I'm just buying some stuff for it. And uh, we're going to try it out. Hopefully that paddle holster will get here soon from Alien Gear. And we can try it out. But anyway, folks. Well, thank y'all for watching Main Man Channel. I've talked a long time. Appreciate you sticking by if you watched the whole thing. 
Uh, make sure you signed up for Ross the RS22 giveaway. And make sure you're uh, signed up for the August 1st knife giveaway. There will be an announcement about the Ross the RS22 giveaway coming soon. I promise. Thank you all, and I'll catch you all next time.